Do the taste test. Oh yeah. Mmm, way better than Panda. Oh my God. Hey guys, today we're making beef and broccoli, just like Panda Express, but way better. So of course this recipe is low carb and keto friendly. And one of the things that I love about making a homemade version is that you are able to fill up on the meat. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but when I go to Panda and I see them serving me, I'm like, Ugh, like I want more meat. So this way you are able to just fill up on whatever you want. I love both the veggies and the meat, but you're gonna have a lot of everything. All right guys, so we're gonna get started on our sauce. We're gonna have a big bowl where we're gonna basically just put everything in. So we're gonna start off with some organic soy sauce. You can also use coconut aminos. I'm just going with soy. Okay, and then we're gonna have some minced ginger. So I just, you know, minced this, but you can buy the little, the ginger that's already minced, just to make your life easier. I have some minced garlic. Here we have some xanthan gum. So that's our little thickener. Okay, and we have our chili flakes. And here, obviously, if you don't want any spice, you omit it all together, or you do a pinch, or you know, however, however much you um, you want. But this is like a mild, a mild spice. And then we have our brown sugar. So we have our sweetener with some blackstrap molasses. Instead of mixing it together, since it's all gonna get cooked together, we are just going to put the molasses right into our sauce, okay? And it's gonna be like we made some brown sugar. Cause I don't know if you guys know this, but that is how brown sugar is made. And um, you can actually make your own, your own brown sugar, or if you already have a brown sugar substitute, then just use that. And then we have our sweetener. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and give this a little whisk. Make sure it is well combined. So let me know which is your favorite broccoli beef. Is it from a restaurant? Is it from a fast food place? Homemade? This here is gonna be your homemade version. And you're not gonna have to go anywhere else for a broccoli beef recipe. But here's our sauce. We're gonna set this aside and move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is our broccoli. So as you can tell, we have these big, you know, big pieces. So we're going to chop them up a little. And this is obviously to taste. I mean, if you want big, huge chunks like this, then just leave it. But we're just going to, you know, we kind of what I'm gonna go with, something like this, you know? And you do wanna cut them just so that they cook evenly because um, if you have bigger pieces, then it's gonna take a lot longer to cook and that way, you know, everything just comes out at the same time. Once we're done with this, I will show you the next step. Okay, so we're all done with our broccoli. This is what we're basically looking for, you know, or at least what I'm looking for. You're going to cut them to your desired um, size, but this is done. Let's move on to cutting our meat. You can use flank steak. We went with chuck because it's what was available. So, you know, that's just what we went with. So we're just gonna start off cutting thin slices. Okay, so we have different sizes of meats. We have the chunks, so if you wanna go the chunky, you know, little chunks of meat, you can go that route. Or you can do something a little bit thicker, you know, like slices, or really thin, like this. So um, I'm just gonna do a mixture of them. I did this for just to show you guys, but typically I would probably go somewhere in between thin and thick, but there are some restaurants that sh um, serve it chunky. So it just depends on your style and what you know beef and broccoli means to you so we are going to finish cutting this up and then we're moving on to the stove so this step here is completely optional but you're either going to use cornstarch or arrowroot starch and we have our water now if you use a tender meat a tender cut of meat then you really don't have to worry about this okay and so we're just mixing it we are gonna set this aside 
and we are going to get cooking. So let's go ahead and set this up while we prepare to cook our meat. So we are going to serve our, we're going to plate it. We're going to plate it. Um, and I'm going to show you how this is going to look. Oh, so I served myself a small portion. Let's go ahead. I love sriracha. So we're just going to throw a little bit of sriracha in here. Okay guys. So it's, I finished plating it and now we're just going to go right into it. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Do the taste test. Oh yeah, mm, way better than panda. Oh my God. The meat is super tender. Broccoli is kind of crunchy. Mm. Mm. Honestly, it's amazing. All right guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. This is one of my childhood favorite foods. You guys are gonna love it. If you have been looking for a low carb version of a beef and broccoli, then this is your recipe. So if you do make this recipe, please come back, comment down below, let everyone know what you think. Did you love it? what do you think? Did you add anything, make any tweaks to it? I love going back, reading your comments and just get like seeing your feedback. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. That's gonna take you to lowcarblove.com, which is my website. This will be a printable recipe and there will be other exclusive recipes that I don't have anywhere else. So make sure you check that out. And if you still want a little more of me, make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok where I share just more recipe ideas and a glimpse into my everyday life. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you and I will see you on the next one. Now I'm gonna go and enjoy my beef and broccoli.